Good evening, everybody. Welcome along to House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. I'm joined by four lovely, famous faces. They've been here all week. They are very, very competitive. Shall we meet them once again? They are BT Edmondson, Amol Rajan, Gabby Roslin, and Hugh Dennis. <laughs> now, BT, you won the first show. Yeah. And since then, Hugh Dennis. At I the know. end there, he's been absolutely storming it. Yeah, it sort of reminded me of like family Christmas when my dad sort of makes us think we're going to win and then just beats us all. But the good news is we've still got two days to bring him down. Yeah. Uh, Amol, shall we look at the uh, the leaderboard? See Let's the, look at see the, the leaderboard. Trouble Let's that look we're at the leaderboard. Um, but I'm very uh, attracted to and enticed by this idea that on Friday there's double points. Oh, yeah, tomorrow, that's Friday, double points Friday, where there's extra points at the end. So, you know, as so long as you're in striking distance at yeah. the end of today. The question is whether or not we're Whether you be in are, striking. yeah. <laughs> that's the point. You've exactly. got to keep them in sight, yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah. Let's take a look at where we are. <laughs> We've got two players in third place. That's uh, Amol and Gabby with six points. BT, you have eight. And Hugh, you have 11. Gabby, what do we do traditionally at the start of every oh, show? Yes, show me what I could have we won. We look at the prizes, and you, thus far you haven't yeah. won one. Can I choose the one that I would have magically win? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's see today's prizes. They are <laughs> uh, House of Games Tees Made, uh, oh, House of Games Richard Osman Action Doll, a House of Games Shoehorn, hello, uh, House of Games Towel, and a House of Games binoculars. Doll. Doll, oh, Doll. would you? Doll. That's nice. To sit on the cushion while I'm wearing the dressing gown, brushing my teeth, I could just look at you. Oh, that really yeah. is an appalling thought. <laughs> that is, uh, I'd be so I, sorry. I'm slightly scared I'm by so, it. Yeah, I know, can you imagine? <laughs> Hugh, you are our leader. What's your tactics for today? No point in having tactics other than just getting the questions right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to me well, that... Well, this else, is interesting. Yeah, what else can you do? Shall we play? <laughs> Let's do it. Round one. Let's All do right. it. Shall you play round one on this Thursday on House of Games? Let's see what it is. <laughs> the answers <laughs> in the question. Now, this is going to sound complicated. I promise it's not. We're going to show you each a clue. Part of that clue is in capital letters, and the answer to the clue is an anagram of those capital letters. You're going to go first, BT, oh, and I will God. look after you throughout. All right. Okay, and the second you see one of them, you'll see what we're doing. You'll see why it's clever as well. So only one of us goes at any one time? Yeah. That's a bit unfair on BT, isn't it? Cos... Do you think? Yeah, I don't want to go it's first. Fair. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's okay. No, no, by all means, if you no, want. No, no, no. It does sound it like does. he wants to go first. It does, no, no, it? no, no, yeah. no. No, come on, just swap, just for this, swap over for this round. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> So, first in this round is Amol. How are you, oh, sir? I'm feeling oh, good, actually. Oh, it's nice having you here. It's so nice to be here. This I feel, is great. I feel loved. Right, the first category is British sitcoms. So, here is your question. The lead character in this sitcom travelled back in time to see his mistress as they hid a wet snog together. What's this sitcom? So, the answer is an anagram of hid a wet snog together. Good night, sweetheart. Is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> BT, let's take a look at yours. What's this sitcom? From salvaging kitchen sinks to repairing teaspoon dents, these two won't let anything go to waste. Oh. Yeah. What's that sitcom? No, I know it. Oh, what is it? Um... Half the people at home are shouting out, the other half going, what? <laughs> I know it. I'm going to have to push you, BT. I'm so um, sorry. Oh, no. No, I'm going to no, lock you out, no. I'm afraid. Oh, God. What is oh. Gabby Roslin. Steptoe and son was the answer. Very well done. Uh, and, Gabby, it's your question now. After this sitcom, the lead went on to star in drama series for the BBC. Oh, look at these buzzers. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, OK. After this sitcom, the lead went on to star in drama series for the BBC. I might have to lock you out, Gabby. I'm so sorry. Oh, he's got it. I'm Is it Miranda? It is Miranda. Oh. Yes, it is Miranda. Of course, went on to star in drama series for the BBC. Hugh. Here's your first question. We don't go to shops like the one in this sitcom oh. anymore, as all our phones do oh. the shopping. Uh, it's Wait. open all hours. Open all hours is the yeah. correct answer. Very well done. <laughs> New category is children's authors. 
OK, we'll give you the clues. The name of the children's author is an anagram of these capitals. Here's yours, Amal. Britain has no battier export than this author's twee animal tales. Oh, um... <laughs> Uh, awesome. Beatrix Potter. Beatrix Aww. Potter is the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> BT, here is your question. Though he had a droll <laughs> sense of humour, this author's works could be scary as well as funny. Roll Dahl. Roll Dahl is the correct answer. Well done. Well done if you've got that one at home. <laughs> Gabby, here is yours. This author's stories might oh. be read by indolent children the world over, but her characters are models of wholesome activity. Enid Blyton. Oh. Enid well Blyton well is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> the last question of this round goes to Hugh Dennis. Hmm. Who is this children's author, Hugh? It's clear rice won't be enough to stop this author's most famous character from going hungry. Hugh Dennis looking stumped. We haven't mm. seen that very often uh -oh. this week. It's oh. clear rice won't be enough to stop this author's most famous character from going hungry. I'm going to have to push you, Hugh. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Uh, you are frozen mm. out. OK. Gabby. Hungry Caterpillar and it's Eric... Ah. So it'd be an anagram of clear. Clear. Eric Leclerc. No. I it thought. is not, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm all. Eric Clerc? It is not Eric Clare, I'm afraid. Um... BT. <laughs> Eric? <laughs> wow, how did you know that? <laughs> um, Eric? Yeah. Arkle. Oh, it's not Eric Arkle, oh. I'm afraid. It's Eric Carl oh. is the is answer, it? author of The Very Hungry mm, Caterpillar. Uh, Amal and Beatty, should we swap you back around yes. again? Yes. Oh, I miss Sure you. thing. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at our scores. Uh, with one point, Hugh and Beatty. Two points, Gabby, and I've yet to say this this week. <clears throat> Our leader is a mole with three points. Well done. It's not going to last. Let's play. <laughs> Dim sums. Uh. Dim sums. Now, this is a game you need to be in pairs. The player in last place chooses who their partner is. Hugh, who would you like to partner? I think I might go back with a mole. A mole. And Gabby, if you will change places. Okay. What do you think? Okay. Me, and, me and Gabby, should yeah. we? Uh, yeah. Now, what happens in this round is uh, I'll give you four categories to choose from. So, BT and Gabby, you could choose gold, mini beasts, Wimbledon, or pink. Gold. Yeah, we've no gold. idea what it is. We'll do gold. Going for gold. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a sum. Something plus something equals 30. You need to complete that sum with two of the facts you're about to see. Okay. okay I'm going to show you four facts. Two of them fit into that sum, but which ones? Your first fact is this. The atomic number of gold. Oh, God. The highest position achieved by Spandau Ballet's gold in the UK singles chart. The number of carats in the purest form of gold. The number of Olympic gold medals won by Chris Hoy during his career. Okay. Now, two so of those, two and only two of those, when added together, Can equal make. 30. Carrots was 24. 24. 24. And Olympic gold medals was six. Did he win six? He's, isn't he the greatest ever Olympian? Uh, right. Spandau Ballet never made it... Did they made it to number two or something. I have no idea about the atomic <gasps> number of gold, I'm afraid. No. It's just... Okay, 24 plus 24. Should we just do that? Do you think? So you think 24 yeah. carat gold? 24 carat gold, six gold. Let's do that. OK. So you are saying carrots in pure gold. Let's put that in. You're right, it's 24. So mm -hmm. you need Chris Hoy to have won six gold medals. Let's see. Let's put that number in. Oh, plus six. Oh, well Very done. well done. Oh, 24 plus six. Uh, Hugh, the atomic number of gold? No idea. 79. 79. And yeah. Spandau Ballet's chocolate. You're quite oh, right. Two. Number two. Yeah. Well done, Gabby. That was very impressively sure. done. Okay. Uh, Amol and Hugh, what <laughs> category would you like to go for yeah. out of these three? We're both are tennis we? nuts, aren't we? We're not, but I know more <laughs> about that than pink so going... or mini beasts. <laughs> We're going to go with Wimbledon. <laughs> Wimbledon. Let's take a look at your sum. What plus what equals yeah. 23? Yeah. Here are your four clues. Seven the first seven. two numbers of the postcode of the All England Club where the tournament is held. The number of seeded players in the men's singles in 2017. The number of years in which there has been play on the middle Sunday of the tournament. 
and the minimum number of strawberries in each portion of strawberries and cream sold at the tournament. Is it SW19? Uh, I think it is, yeah. That, that, yeah. Hang on. Let's go over to SW19. <laughs> <That sounds right>. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now we're looking for four. Now, if you got four strawberries in a portion... I'd be pretty cheesy. You off. would hit them with a racket. <laughs> <laughs> Middle Sunday play. It's got to be more than four years. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be four. We're assuming all in England postcode is one of the numbers that forms the sum, which it might not be. With the seeds and the men's singles, I've got a feeling that they rank the top 32 and they give the top 32 a seed. I don't think there are 32 seeds. No? I think there are, you reckon there's 16? Yeah. Should we go with seeds and strawberries? Seeds and strawberries, yeah. Yeah. Seeds and strawberries. So, uh, how many seeds are there at Wimbledon? Is it 16? It's 32, oh. I'm afraid. I'm old. You're quite right. Oh. They changed it a few years ago to, oh, to 32. Don't worry, mate. What can I say? So, it is not the minimum strawberry portion, which is... 10. 10. Ten. That's a lot of strawberries. So, here comes so the correct answer. Play, it's 19. It's the other wow. two. I'm Strawberry afraid you could not okay. have got that more wrong. Uh, <laughs> 19, you're absolutely right about the postcode. Four times they played on the middle Sunday. No points there for Amol and Hugh. That's the end of that round. Gabby and Amol, if you'll yes. swap back places. <laughs> oh. Thank you for having me over there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores. Hugh, Ooh. still in last place with one, BT on two. Amol and Gabby, joint leaders on three. And time for round three, and here it is. We are going to play... Z to A. All I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you three clues. You just need to tell me the connection between these clues. But they're going to appear, these clues, letter by letter, from Z up to A. Buzz in if you know the connection between these three clues. Here are your first three. What connects these three? Yes, BT. They are all in Rome. That is close enough. I will give you that. They're all Italian landmarks. Okay. The, the Rialto oh, Bridge is in Venice. Venice. Given yeah, that's the first enough. question as well, and none of you had the first clue of what the round was, I'm going to give you a point there. You've got it at home now. You see how this round works? Yeah. Three clues. What's the connection between the clues? <laughs> that's the last time we're going to be that lax, so let's take a look at this next one. I need exact <laughs> answers now, please. <laughs> what connects these three? They fill in letter by letter from Z up to A. Yes, BT. Oh, I think I'm going to say languages, African languages. Incorrect, I'm afraid. Oh. Gabby. Michael Caine. Yeah. Michael Caine oh. films. Oh. Very well done. Zulu, Get Carter and Educating Rita. Uh, what connects these three? Yes, Amal. The different types of snake. Oh. Here's the right answer. Well played. Python, Viper, Rattlesnake, with snake. The next one. What connects these three, please? Yes, Gabby. Uh, I was going to say Disney, but... Incorrect, I'm afraid. Um, BT. Madonna singles. Is the correct answer. Well <laughs> then, Yeah, Frozen oh, was the... Uh, the Frozen, yeah. Yeah. Lucky Star and Vogue. Here's your next one. They're tricky, aren't they? Yes, BT. Rugby teams. Yeah. You couldn't have got that closer to Hugh Dennis from <laughs> pushing his buzzer as <laughs> yeah. well. They are absolutely yeah. rugby union teams. Oh. Rugby yeah. teams. My husband's going to be so proud. Well, oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's good. How are you doing at home on this? It's one of those ones you can either do or you can't do, I think. Uh, BT, clearly, and I'm old as well. Hugh. I don't think you've got any of them yet. No, no, but I've buzzing. nearly got Yeah, you, exactly. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, nearly it's got. that annoying thing, the second someone else buzzes. Yeah. Um, here is your next one. What connects these three? Uh, 
Oh, blimey, I'm all. Characters from the Lord of the Rings. Here's the correct Whoa. answer. Well played. <laughs> Gandalf, Samwise and Aragorn. That? Yeah. that was impressive. Yeah. Uh, here's your next one. What connects these three? <laughs> yes, Amal. Uh, different aspects of German cuisine. Was it is uh, German correct. dishes, basically. German food, yeah. Mm. Bratwurst, pumpernickel oh, and sauerkraut. He's on fire. Blimey. Here's your next one. What connects these three clues, everybody? Yes, Gabby. Oh, no. I was gonna, <laughs> no, I was going to say they were uh, kids' TV shows. Uh, it's incorrect, I'm like, afraid. I don't know about a kids' TV show called Bender. Um, <laughs> are they punk bands? They are not punk bands, Ooh. I'm afraid. Come on. Uh, They're fictional <laughs> robots. <laughs> <laughs> fictional robots. They are fictional robots. Uh, Amal, very well done. Goodness me, that was quite a round. Mm. Uh, should we take a look at the scores? Hugh still at the bottom on one point. Four points for Gabby, five for BT. Amal is our leader on wow. seven points. How about that? Yeah. How about that? It's you, very tough round for you, that. Yeah, I think I've peaked somehow. <laughs> so that's one of those rounds, again, so many <clears throat> of these different rounds, and you'll know at home, some of them you just get instantly, and some of them, even if you're a split second behind, that's it on this show. Hopefully the next game will suit you a bit better. Let's play. I'm terrible at dating. I need you to take your tablets out now, please. Could not be simpler this round. I'm simply going to ask you when something happened. And you write down the year, please. And the person who's nearest wins a point. If you get it dead on, you get I two points. OK, have a go at home as well. Play against your friends, play against your family. Here's your first one. Tell me the date of this, please. The real Macbeth, King of Scots, dies. What? <laughs> Hugh looks quite confident, I think, Hugh. I'm not, no, I'm not confident. I've sort of... I've, I'm... Yeah, no. Can I just do a picture of a dagger? I wouldn't. With blood-stained hand. <laughs> you might as well write down a year, because I think you're going to have as good a hope as everyone else. Mm. The real Macbeth, King of Scots, dies. Has everyone written an answer? Uh, yeah. BT. I put... 10.30, because that's the time I like to wake up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have gone round about... It feels like... Yeah. I'm not, literally, I wouldn't take any solace from that, because I don't know. <laughs> uh, it feels like... Maybe because it feels like in the middle of... Right? of uh, yeah, yeah. Of, of ever. Of everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Amol. But I've gone for 11.25. 11.25, OK. Because I just... I thought 12th century, and I thought if I put 25, it might look quite clever if it's quite close. <laughs> uh, Gabby. Sometimes the first two numbers are lucky. And unlucky for many. Interesting. But you never know. You never know. 1300 doesn't sound crazy either. Hugh, what I've have gone you got for? 1200. Oh. oh, so everyone, oh. everyone's grouping, aren't they? We're between 1030 and uh, 1300. Um. Let's take a look. When did uh, the real Macbeth King of Scots die? 1057. Oh, oh, what was that? Yes, yeah. a point for well, BT. Fantastic. Well, great. Well, Let's take a look at the next one. When did this happen, please? Glastonbury Festival is televised for the first time. Ooh. Mm. That's the first time it had the full televised coverage rather than full just a. Coverage. Yeah, rather Not than just, just appearing footage. on a news, but yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Okay. All right. Oh. That's making it so different. Mm. Glastonbury Festival is televised for the first time. Everybody got an answer? Okay, yeah. OK, we will start with our leader, uh, Amal. What have you gone for? Um, I've gone for 1996. 1996. I actually weirdly think it might even be a bit later. It's 97 or 98. OK, but, um... you should have written that then. <laughs> 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 That's where I've been going wrong this whole time. Gabby, what have you gone for? Well, I thought it might be earlier because Live Aid was all filmed oh, okay. in 84, yeah, yeah. so I thought... So, oh. 1989... Was it 84? No, 85, of course, Live Aid. Live Aid. So, you've gone for 1989. Okay. That's I've gone later. I've gone for 2005. 2005. BT. I went for 97. 97. That's very close. <clears throat> so, 96, 97, we have 89 and we have 2005. Ooh. Let's find out when it was and who is closest. Who scored a point? 
1994. Oh, Amal, you've got the yeah. point. Very well Way. done. <laughs> Here is your next one. When did this happen, please? A Viking raid on a monastery at Lindisfarne heralds the start of the Viking Age in England. The start of the Viking Age. Goodness me, I would not... You know what? Sometimes I'm so happy to be in my seat, not yours. I don't even know where to, go, where to begin. Well, begin at the start of the Viking Age. Thank you very much. That's right. <laughs> the start of the Viking Age. Has everyone written one? Yeah. yeah. We'll start with Gabby. Shall I tell you what mine is before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would have gone for 600, mm. something like that. Oh, mm. well, I'm... Yeah, I could be so far. I don't know about Vikings. Don't change yours. I've got, no, I'm not Gabby. It. I'm 706. Just... Oh, that's OK. That's roughly what I think, isn't it? 706 says Gabby. I've gone for 560. Five... Oh, I don't feel so foolish now. Hugh says 560. BT? Right, well... <laughs> have you... 1920. Have you got off piece? Yeah. <laughs> I have. Have you said the early well, 70s? Well, because I said BC. Oh, 625 BC, but you're saying. I want to saying. kind of scrub that years out. Up, so yeah. you're going 1,300 years different to Gabby. Oh, no. OK, interesting. And, Amal, what have you gone, gone for? gone just slightly later, 8, 8.30. 8.30. Let's see what the actual answer is and who's won the point. When did the Viking Age begin in England? 793. Uh, That's Amar. Well done. Oh, again. <laughs> that was pretty close, I think. That was, oh. When did this happen, please? London's Metropolitan Police Force is founded. Hmm. Again, it's the sort of thing you do in history at school, isn't it? But like I, on I one Wednesday just afternoon. Doing the Second World War. Just you, Did you? Yeah. Oh, we should have asked year. you when was the Second World War? Yeah. London's Metropolitan Police Force is founded. Hmm. We all got one? Yeah. Uh, we'll start with Hugh. What have you gone for? When was the Metropolitan Police Force founded? I've gone for 1871. 1871. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, BT, what have you said? Well, I went for 1801. 1801. 17 Yeah, that's maybe closer to where I would have gone. I don't know, by the way. I don't even know the clue. Hmm. Um, what have you gone for? I think Robert Peel started them, mm -hmm. which may be where they get the nickname Bobbies from. And, and Peters. And Peters. And Peters. Yeah. Um, but I don't quite know if it was him or an act in his name, so I've gone oh, for 1862. 1862. Oh, but, I think that, but I think that might be very wrong and it might be 1830s. Anyway. OK. Oh, I'm, I'm so far out. Gabby? 1806. 1806. Oh. Interesting. So you're all 19th century. Let's have a little look. When was the Metropolitan Police Force founded? And who's won a point? 1829, Ooh, wow. Gabby, you win oh, the man. points. Well Should done. have gone for 23 years out. 1829, yeah. absolutely well right. Done, so Gabby. close oh, to the 1830s. Well Very well done if you got that at home as well. That's the end of that mm. round. Should we take a look at the scores as we go Let's into our final <laughs> round? <laughs> Hugh still has one. Five for Gabby, six for BT. <laughs> a three-point lead. He can't throw this away for Amal. Nine points. I'm feeling extremely nervous now. I, I mean, a three-point lead, that's quite a scary lead to have. Yeah, but the key thing is not to lose points, I think, because in answer smash, you end up losing a point yeah. if you get it wrong. You can do. Well, that's, what, that's the round we're going to play. It is, as always, our final round is... ..answer smash. And, yeah, three-point lead. Because okay. three-point lead, you, do, you don't want to lose a three-point lead, do you? Okay. You would feel it. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to you all, especially... I know you want to win. I know. I it. And you got. I know. I know. You all really week you wanted to. Well, it would just but be nice sort of, to be yeah. able to go home and tell my wife I yeah. didn't lose. Okay. <laughs> we all know how it works. We're going to give you a category. I'll show you a picture, and a clue. Smash the answers into each other, please. Uh, the first category is British actresses. Those will be the pictures. There'll be a clue underneath. Point for a correct answer. One point knocked off for an incorrect answer. Very best of luck. Who is this? And what's the answer? Which Nicholas Parsons fronted game show had the catchphrase from Norwich? It's the quiz of the week. That is Gabby. Kate Beckinsale of the century. Is the correct answer, Gabby. Well played. <laughs> Who's this? And what's the answer to this clue, please? In the BBC children's programme, In the Night Garden, what is the name of the blue teddy like doll? Yes, Gabby. Diana Wriggle Piggle. Is the right answer. <laughs> well played. I've never heard of Wriggle Piggle. Well, Iggle Piggle. Iggle Piggle. Never heard of Iggle Piggle. Let's take a look at the next one. 
Which market town in Suffolk is home to the Green King Brewery? Oh, I'm going to guess. Gabby. Angela Kingsbury St Edmunds. Oh, it's not right, I'm afraid. Anyone else want to buzz in? Yes, Angela you. Angela Lansbury St Edmunds. Yes, Angela Lansbury St Edmunds. What Edmund. did I say? You said Angela Kingsbury oh, St Edmunds. Oh, no, I meant Lansbury. I know, oh. I know what you meant. Yeah, oh, oh well. I'm so sorry. I wish sorry. I could be sympathetic, but I've got another point. <laughs> 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 What's your next category? Seabirds, those are going to be the pictures. Uh, give me the answers, please. According to legend, who was the wife of King Arthur? Yes, BT. Uh, Penguendolin. Is incorrect, oh. I'm afraid. You. Penguinivir. Is the right answer. Well played. Here's your next one. Which TV presenter and actor played Grant Mitchell in EastEnders? Yes, Albatross too. Kemp. Albatross Kemp is the correct <laughs> answer. Well done. Here's your next question. What was the title of Benny Hill's UK number one single about a speedy deliverer of dairy products? Yes, you. Turney, the fastest milkman in the West. Uh, that is close enough. I will give you that. The full answer was Arctic Turney, the fastest milkman in the West. <laughs> oh, OK. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's perfectly all right. An Arctic turn. Your next category is Knights of the Realm. Those will be the pictures. Who is this and what's the answer? The name of which round suite translates into French as good good? Yes, Hugh. Michael Gambonbon. Michael Gambonbon <laughs> is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> that is the end of the round. I the said end. Absolutely you nothing. You said literally nothing. <laughs> you know what? You just thought, I'm just going to stick where I am. <laughs> I've got a three point lead. You didn't want to lose any, did I'm you? I'm leaving it at that. Shall we take a look at who our Thursday winner on House of Games is? Oh. Is Amal with nine points. Well done. <laughs> Very well played. That's nice. Our third different winner of the week. For the first time. I know. Choose a prize. I'm going to go for the tease mate. You're very welcome to our House of Games tease maker. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Now, we've had four days, <laughs> but Friday is the big day. Double points on Fridays. Eight <laughs> points for the winner, six for second, four for third, and two for four. So lots of points to play for. Anyone could still win and take home this trophy, looking magnificent glinting in the artificial light. But who's going to win it? Here's our weekly leaderboard. Uh, Gabby, you have nine points. Amal, you have ten. Beatty, you have eleven. Ooh, oh, tight. you have twelve. <laughs> Look at that. That literally is anybody's game. It's been lovely having you here. I will see you again mm. for the final time here tomorrow. I hope to see you again as well. But for today, it's goodbye from the House of Games. <laughs>